What is going on guys? Welcome to your 28th chemistry tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking more about covalent bonds because I know you guys just can't get enough of covalent bonds so let's go ahead and learn some more about them. So I might have said this in the last tutorial but a covalent bond is basically a type of chemical bond where one or more electron pairs is shared between elements. So we went ahead and we already looked at hydrogen and it bonded with another hydrogen and one pair of electrons was shared. So you're saying, okay, I understand how it can share one pair just like that, but how can it share more than one pair? That doesn't really make sense. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at something like nitrogen. Now, nitrogen has five valence electrons, so we usually draw it like this. One, two, three, four, five. Now, a lot of the time in nature, nitrogen is bonded with another nitrogen and that's kind of weird because like we can understand with hydrogen it could easily bond with another hydrogen but how the heck can this thing right here bond with another nitrogen it just doesn't look like it would fit nicely together well in order to do this first of all if we look at the nitrogen we can see that it does have five valence electrons so in order to fill up it needs eight so 8 minus 5 it needs three more electrons so if it bonds with another nitrogen that means that it would need to share three electron pairs or six electrons altogether and this would make something called a triple covalent bond so let me go ahead and draw this model for you you have one nitrogen and it's going to bond with another nitrogen over here now in between you have one two three four five six now this nitrogen is going to go ahead and keep two of its own and this nitrogen is going to go ahead and keep two of its own so let me go ahead and demonstrate by if I change my opacity you can see that this nitrogen right here it gets its eight from right there and this nitrogen over here it gets its eight from let me see what color over here so now if you take a look this nitrogen right here has eight it shares six or three pairs and has two of its own and this nitrogen over here also has two of its own and it's sharing these six electrons and remember whenever you have a pair of electrons that's shared it's called a covalent bond so since you have three pairs two four six this is called a triple covalent bond now if we want to write this more formally in the elect electron dot format we can go ahead and write it like this you have two nitrogens might as well make those a little bit better I forgot you have two nitrogens and each of them is going to have its own two electrons now instead of drawing all these dots right here what you do is remember for each electron pair you just draw a dash so it would look something like this so that is how you would write it more formally again this is called a triple covalent bond or a triple bond as some people like to call it so that is the difference between a regular single covalent bond such as in the case of hydrogen and a triple bond such as in the case of nitrogen so hopefully you guys understand now between the two and also you can have double bonds and I'm going to be talking about those later and I just want to point out this I'm not going to be talking I'm not going to be explaining whenever I make a double bond between something in the upcoming tutorials what that double bond means because I explained it in this tutorial so if you're lost come back and watch this tutorial but anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video